It is a cold, wintry day. 30 degrees yesterday, and about 12 today. Perfect time to make my favourite lamb and vegetable soup. So these are called meat bones. But what they actually are is the off cuts of loin, like a loin chop. So I'll be cutting all the meat off, throwing away the fat, or giving the fat to the magpies, and combine it with the vegetables to make my lamb and vegetable soup. It is yum. Now, the way I take the meat off is just literally cut it off. Cut off the fat, leave just the meat. Bit of a tedious process, but well worth the effort. Like normally this lamb is about 35 to $40 a kilo. I got this for $7 a kilo because they're off cuts. So basically, just take the meat off the bone. Let me finish doing that. All right, I've taken all the meat off. Tiny little bit of fat left on there, probably only about 1% fat. Just seasoning in it with salt and pepper. Give that a stir. Right, let's chop up all the veggies now. Right, so the veggies going in are potatoes, celery, carrots, sweet, parsnips, and uh, turnip with an onion. Gonna chop all that up, magic of uh, video. Here okay, we'll, that's all the vegetable cut up, the carrot, potato, celery, parsnip, turnip. Um, all them are, are cut, cut up into certain sizes, but I have used a little special knife just to cut the carrots because it just adds a little something uh, in the actual soup. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to add is a nice dollop of butter. You can use olive oil. In fact, I'll just put a little bit in if I like to. And we are going to seal the meat first. Let's get all this butter melted. Smells yum. I will actually put a little dabble of in of the garlic in there. Probably about a teaspoon. Now, yeah, butter and garlic. That's the combination. This is the last of my dried thyme. I can go in there. Man, that smells good. There it is. Yum. So I'll just get this meat in there. This is all those bits I cut off the bone. Find a little bit of fat left on top, nothing major. So we're just going to seal these little pieces, mix them around in the nice juices. And then we're going to add the veggies and then we're going to add the stock. Let me do this and we'll come back. Alright, that's been a couple of minutes on the one right side and now just going to flip them around. And that garlic smells sensational on that butter. So we're just sealing the meat, we're not going to cook it all the way through. We're about to add the vegetables as well. And then the stock. Smell is superb coming off that. I'm happy with that, so all of the vegetables are going in. Every bit of them. You've watched me make soup before, it's about 90% vegetable. About 10% protein, whatever it is. So we could get a bit of stir around. Just going to split these off for three or four minutes. So the flavours can incorporate, and then I will add the stock. And then we can go and have a coffee and wait an hour and have a delicious meal. I will put in some um, parsley flakes. Yes, we'll be using fresh parsley shortly. Just yet. Soon. And I'll put a little bit crap, another little bit more pepper in there. You can always add salt later. Stir. 
Okay, so probably another four or five minutes, I think, just sweating them. And then we'll let this stop. We'll come back when I do that. Alright, this is pretty close. We're going to add about a pint and a bit of chicken stock. And to top it up, I'll just add a bit of water. Again, I just want my veggies just to be basically covered. I like thick soups, let's put it that way, and stews. So we're, we're probably about where I want it to be. Smells superb. Pull up a chair. Right, all I have to do now, go and have a coffee. Come back in 20, 25 minutes, check it. I think it'll be about an hour by the time it's finished. But we'll come back and have a look. So this is about six or seven minutes into it. Now I've got it on medium high, but now that I've got a simmer happening, it's starting to boil, I'm going to reduce the heat. Just enough. Just on fairly low. Because that temperature has now reached boiling throughout the pot. We just want to simmer it for the next 45 minutes to an hour. So that's what it's looking like at the moment. It smells great. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that because you don't boil your soups all the way through. You just get it to boiling and then you simmer. Right, let's put the lid on. And now I'll come back in about 25 minutes. Here's the finished product. Yum. And we've already dished our dinner up. I'm having my normal bowl. Of course my wife has hers in a cup. And do the taste test. Lamb and vegetable stew. The steam coming off that. Yeah. No good flavours, I don't need salt. And a bit of crusty bread. Now, let's oh, check mine yes. out. It, it a, is a very cold, wintry day here. But I'm having lamb and vegetable soup. Looks yum. Crusty bread. Bit of OJ. Yeah. Put a bit of chilli sauce in mine. Let's have a bit of a taste test. Mmm. Never misses a beat that, does it? No, it's good. So, I know a lot of you don't eat lamb. But we do, and it is delish. So that is my lamb and vegetable soup. Saw how I made it. Chase down a lamb, run into the uh, field and grab one. Make sure the farmer doesn't catch you. Cut it up, little pieces, and make yourself some yum. Anyway, if you have been, thank you for watching.